Word up, man. As as promised. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My man Wiz in the house. What's cracking, dog? What's goody, brother? Thank you for coming down and, and uh, making it to the studio. First time. We've been, like, you know, talking about hollering at you for a long time Seriously. to come up here and, yep. you know, get down with us. So we talked about it on, on, on uh, at the smoke out. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, been it's been too long. And um, I appreciate you guys for having me. <laughs> no, no, we appreciate having you, man. I know you're a busy man right now. You're doing all kinds of shit. The most important thing is the kid. Yeah. So, you know, that's what I'm really, really working on. It's Grammy weekend. Congratulations on yes. that. Thank you, bro. Thank man. you. I appreciate that. And, um, you know, just getting ready for that. And the album's doing well. The, uh, we got a new single coming out with Akon. And, you know, I travel a lot and stuff, oh, yeah. too. So, yeah. You get it in, man. Yeah, for the yeah, Grammys, you got that, supposed to do, you got you that pay phone with Maroon you nominated with, Yeah, right? that one in the joint with, uh, with, with Snoop. With Snoop, the yeah, Young yeah, Wild. Yeah, free. exactly. A song about weed is nominated for a grammy yeah it's awesome that's what's up <laughs> thank you guys <laughs> hey and right back at you because you thank know that's you the first time oh yeah. yeah you know that's the first time a song about weed has mm-hmm. been nominated in the fucking grammys that's big we've come a long way come a long way you that's know what it's all about and, and that's the thing it just it, it just kept taking bigger steps yeah you know what i mean and that's what i was telling somebody about the other day i was like uh they were like, you do so much for weed. I'm like, dude, there's so many people who made it possible for me to, like, just have it right here where I'm at. I'm not the first, like, you know what I mean? You guys do so much for weed just that's not even on a celebrity level. You know what I mean? So That's so cool for to hear you say that. Nah, I stand up for you guys all the time. Hey, but, you know, the cool thing is that you take it to that next level, too, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's not just... Uh, you know, like a lot of artists that came came and tried to do the same thing, a lot of it was just like face value. They did that because they thought it was the cool shit, mm-hmm. you know, like to sell records and yeah. shit, you know, of reference course. it and people will go buy your shit because that's the cool thing. But, you know, I, I know that you, you smoke for real and you're passionate about mm-hmm. the shit, you know what I mean? And that's the difference, you know, when you came along, you took that shit serious and and started, you know, educating people and shit. That's what it is, and educating. That's, and 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 that's the big difference. When you, anybody could come and do songs and and talk about that shit and reference it, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like when you're actually out there, you know, telling people what's up with it mm-hmm. beyond the the fact that you smoke. That's that's what's big because that resonates. You know, no doubt, no doubt. So I respect that shit. You know, when you know, I've been following for for a minute. You Thank know what you. I'm saying, and and. The fact that you put yourself out there like that, like a lot of artists, they would never do that. But mm-hmm. you go, you go the extra lengths, man, and that's what I, I definitely respect that shit. And and Wiz, you got some some heavy heating songs Heat. like hidden right now, especially that Heat. that new Drake remix, the oh, started yeah. from the bottom. Yeah. So you're talking about starting from the bottom. Uh-huh. That remix is hidden hard and about me with problem. Yeah, you know I'm a DJ, so those things are getting requested. And say I, oh yeah, that one just got caught E40. Heat with Too Short and E40. Yeah. And uh, definitely, I would say one of my favorite songs of yours is Mount uh, Money. You said, oh, 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 Mount the joint with Fashan. I Yes, with Fashan. Yeah, I think yeah. it was off your Taylor Adler. All the dice. Uh, all, all their dice. Um, it wasn't on the tape, but we had dropped it like in between that little period because okay. we were ju- I was just like dropping music. You know okay, what I'm yeah. Saying? That's, well, that's a good song. And what made you name that mixtape? After the high school that you went to, or just- I felt like um, my high school was just so responsible, really responsible for a lot of my attitude and how I carry myself. A lot of the things that I do just come from the routine of you know being a kid and being in high school, wanting to have a good time, wanting to chill with my friends, but also you know take care of some business and get some work done. And um, you know I developed a lot of swag and just a lot of individuality in that time, and it's um, you know what's gotten me rich. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> as an adult. I kind of wanted to just, you know, pay some commemoration or some homage to that. Like, you know, that's everybody remembers like skipping school and like, you know, yep. going in the car and smoking with their homies or, you know, that's when I had just a little bit of weed. So <laughs> you hear like the references to like when I first started out, like, you know, with the whole thing and even with my music, just um, how I grinded and had a little bit of support from just my people uh, around me and then it spread. So. You know, it's just good to go back in now, my mind. Now, talking about going back, let's rewind a little to mm. right before Say Ah came out. Yeah. Say Yeah. Say Yeah. So th- that got like a lot of uh, pub in Europe, right? Uh-huh, Is that yeah. what blew it up? With Europe blew it uh, up? Or? Europe and the West Coast. Yeah. yeah the West yeah, Coast love, blew it up. Mad love out here. Yeah, yeah no. sure. Yeah, the West Coast. It had Coast. that housey, catchy like yeah. sample in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. were definitely dropping it. Yeah, the DJs and uh, everybody who just like really just 
vibed with it and liked it, that's who supported that and like took it to where it was at. Definitely. Yeah, when you knock that shit in the club, it's crazy. Crazy still. Crazy. And I listened to it the other day, I was like, damn, that song's still pretty tight. It's actually. still it's still good. It's still good. <laughs> now I definitely spun it. Can I see that, <laughs> uh, can I see that grinder? Of course. Thank you, bro. Now as soon as Seiya on, came out multiple. um as soon as Seiya came out, did you know that it was it was going down right there? Or was it till you got to Atlantic? Or when, when did you know that it was like you were hidden and you were relevant and you were killing it and you were going in? Say yeah was a good step because that was when I was able to first really come out and like be in different places and have people be like, yo, we fuck with Wiz or we like Wiz or this, that, and the other thing. It kind of got me ready, but I didn't feel like that was it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I kind of knew I, I, I had to get past that or, or do more from that situation. I didn't know exactly what or how, but it was like, this isn't exactly it. So I don't need to like, you know, get excited, get comfortable about this. So as time went on and um, I took some of the things that I learned from that. And then when I started doing it on my own before I was with Atlantic, I felt like, you know, I could stand on my own too, regardless of anywhere that I go. Nobody could really push the button on me to tell me what I can or can't do. So when I was at that position, that's when I felt like, all right, I'm comfortable now. I'm me. If I make a decision, then it, it'll be the right thing. It'll push me forward because it's not anybody, you know, giving me a handout or taking anything and just saying, all right, now go. Yeah. It's something that I've, I've, I make the rules, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. nobody really understands it or can make it move the way that I can make it move. Yeah, and I definitely agree the way you do it. You've done it nice. I like your whole progression, how you started and how you, like, harness your style. Now, how do you feel about working with Maroon 5? In that direction, that it's a little bit more of a poppy song, yeah, right? But yeah. no, nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like that's a, a, it's a great move for somebody like me um, to be that organic, and I think just everything registers because we're all fans of each other. I, I listened to Maroon Five growing up in high school, just hearing their music and knowing that they just make huge records. Not ever. Well, I definitely like thought like, man, it would be awesome to do a song with them. <laughs> right. But never thinking that I would get to the point where they would want to do a song with me. So when it went down, it was like a no brainer. It wasn't like yeah. I said before, it wasn't anything like, you know, some mastermind like, hey, if we yeah. do this guy and this guy, then it's going <laughs> to turn into whatever. You know, it just right. happened because I think people fucked with it. And um, Adam was real passionate about it, like making it the single, keeping my verse on there, putting me in the video doing the dirty version like having me say fuck that shit at the beginning and he's like yo say that like you know what i mean like <laughs> he wanted me to be like me all the way so yeah that's what made that song what it was he respected your grind yeah when when you when you started to catch heat a lot of a lot of heavyweight style rappers wanted to get at you and started coming at you how'd that feel like that feel like validating to you like you know that you were actually you know doing your thing and it was getting out there because that's a big thing when yeah. others rap when other rappers endorse you and they they're like they want to get at you like when snoop went and got yeah, at you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah. they wanted to you know team up with you to do that shit. you yep. know what i'm saying that's that's big huge there, there ain't too many artists that that have come along that you know people wanted to get at just like like man i gotta get with them yeah you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah it tripped me out too man because these are people that i look at and like I said, I don't really think like, oh man, I'm gonna be standing right next to that dude. Like, I just kind of just keep doing what I'm doing. And then when they, they fuck with me, it's like, damn, these dudes genuinely like me. They really want to get down with it. And it's not like, I don't I don't feel like anybody who gets in contact with me or does anything with me just is trying to just bank off the opportunity. They're really trying to get to know me and see what I'm about and, you know, just share some energy and share some ideas. and and learn something the same way that I've learned off of them like you know what I mean so <clears throat> it's a great spot to be in and it's a it, it, it feels great man it's it's pretty much like overwhelming yeah now uh what about uh what what were, what were you into growing up like what was what was your shit when you were young and what made you want to rap um just listening to a ton of rap i always i was one of those kids who downloaded well before instrumentals were coming out like on the internet I would go to the library and print out like lyrics and shit, and, like learn all the words to all my favorite songs. Um, I was into all types of music, West Coast music, East Coast, down South. I listened to everything. So, um, you know, I just had a notebook full of other people's raps. And this was, I was in like second or third grade. And then that's when I started writing my own stuff. And Damn. it just got to the point where I was like, man, um, I, I was kind of, emulating what I what I was into like Wu-Tang fucking Mob Deep fucking K 
camera on in them at a certain point. Nice. Like, and then I kind of develop my own style after a while. Nice. If, uh, if there's one producer that you could work with, who would it be? Uh, one producer. Man. New or old? Um, Quincy. Nice. <laughs> 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 That's the man right there. Yeah, you know? tight, right? <laughs> yeah. I got oh, a question. Yeah. I got a question about the weed. Besides B, not not I'm not, not on the OG generation. Is there any new school cat that could fuck with you on the weed smoking? Who could smoke with you? Who could smoke with me? Uh, new school. Yeah. Um. Cur- well, currency. He's my OG still. He's like a. He's like he blazes. Newer. Yeah. Currency can smoke. Um. Would you say? Would you say you're like? Holding shit down for the new yeah, generation. Yeah, yeah, I'm 25, so like. Oh, you got capacity. Yeah. You got love yeah. capacity. <laughs> <laughs> you got love capacity uh, 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 for sure. <laughs> that's just that's, that's what we do, up. man. That's, yeah, <laughs> yeah day, I don't know. I smoke. I smoke with the best of them. I like to smoke with the OGs because y'all really y'all know how to do it. That's who I learned from. I didn't learn smoking with no young niggas. L- let me ask you this: Do you do you feel like there's more understanding about the whole movement now? You know what I'm saying? Nah. I or feel do you like, still, or, or do they still fuck with you? Like they like fucked with us? You know what I mean? They still fuck with me. They still fuck with. They still fuck with us. Right. It's still right. The, yeah. They want to keep it where it's at. I mean, like, it's definitely came come a long way. You know what I mean? Like more people are speaking out and saying about the the beauties of it and uh, not how bad it is. But at the end of the day, people still want people to look at it badly. And for our generation, um. They don't, they don't want them to look at me and be like, "Oh yeah, you can do this." Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> it's not really like the right message, but it's what's happening. They can't stop it. You know what I mean? What What did you think when uh, when you heard that uh, Denver and I mean, or Colorado and in Washington had legalized, you know, beyond the the medicinal shit? I was. It's two things happened. I got excited and I was like, "It's a trap." Right, yeah. I, I I gotta think that some people felt it was a trap too. Yeah, you know? I don't know. I think that might just be the pothead in me. Right? <laughs> You're always paranoid. That's so good. Like, but that's our thing, though. Yeah, you know, we yeah. we think we think things too much, right? yeah. especially when we get high. We start thinking way too much. Fucking <laughs> like, right. If there was like you know RPMs or, or 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 miles, you know, like there's miles per hour for the speed in your car. If there was that for your head after you smoke, dude, it's crazy. Your mo- your body may be in slow motion, but your mind is going a thousand miles per hour racing <laughs> until you hit the wax, and then you're just like come to a complete stop. I keep hearing about the wax. People oh, keep man. telling me to get on the wax. Ah man, look, I smoked the flower, dog. You know that's that's me. Yeah. I knew you. I knew you were a connoisseur when I and I was just telling this story before you came on when we were at the smoke out, mm-hmm. and this dude passed me a blunt. Now, I don't really smoke blunts and shit. I didn't know if you had or not, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I, I passed it over to you, and you said, oh, thanks, man, but I don't smoke blunts. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> My man knows what's up right yeah. here, you know what I'm saying? All day, so, man, just weed. Yeah. <clears throat> For real, just like you said, all flower. And it's crazy because it hurts me, man. You guys, are, you, you're a legend, so I, I, I can't, like, pass anything down like turn it down all the way but hey i didn't <laughs> hey but i you know i don't want you to feel bad about that because i didn't hit it either yeah you know what I'm i saying? did the same thing to snoop man them dudes are smoking oh hella blunts. man they smoke blunts and like blunts. i won't smoke a blunt all right have all. you ever seen bishop do the thing with we'll the, the nose, through the nose? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah 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 i roll my own joints when i'm talking about that you know what i'm saying <laughs> Church goes straight up his nose yeah. with it. It's amazing. Oh, I roll, I roll <laughs> when I heard that, shit. I was like, "What?" I be keeping that shit to myself over there. You know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? you want to hit with this funky field tip on there? Yeah, sure, man. I need to I get gotta, one of them too. We bro. got a pack for you. They make it hit so smooth. Please. We we got some shit for you. You know yes, what I'm saying? We do for sure. These are you know these are special made ones too. These these ones ain't out there. You know, so don't oh, buddy yeah. definitely got these ones. So if somebody snatched it and you saw it, you'd be like, hey, man. I think I did see one. <laughs> but guess what I did? There it is. It's your bag I of tricks. I took it up off that motherfucker. <laughs> this is the bag of tricks right here. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Word up, man. So, Wiz, ONIFC. Uh-huh. Man, this album is banging. I'm a huge fan, like I said earlier. Bluffing. 
work hard, play hard. It's nothing. Initiation goes so hard, yo. Every yo, time thanks. I drop that, and Medicaid is 